by upgrading high schools in every mandal of the state as government junior colleges, one exclusively for girls and one for co-education to increase geographical access. 294 government high schools have been upgraded into high schools plus for girls from the academic year 2022-23. My government is giving utmost importance to higher education. Andhra Pradesh is the only state in the country to take complete responsibility for providing higher education to 100% of its eligible students, free of cost, without any financial burdens on their families. The government has initiated path-breaking reforms to transform the youth of the state into an enlightened, enlightened and employable global citizens ready to tackle future global challenges. My government is revised. Government revised the curriculum by including four years honors degree along with job-oriented modules and 30% skill development courses to increase the employability of the students. With a view to ensure that higher education is accessible even to children of disadvantaged sections, my government is reimbursing total fees under Jagananna Vidya Divena. Under the scheme, amount is transferred directly on, on a quarterly basis into the student and mother's accounts whose children pursue ITI, polytechnic, degree, engineering, medicine, B pharmacy, and other courses. So far, rupees 11,901 crores have been reimbursed to 26.98 lakh beneficiaries. <laughs> Through Jagananna Vasati Divena, our government is providing allowance up to rupees 20,000 for boarding and lodging charges in two installments every year into the joint accounts of the mothers and students. All children in a family are entitled to this assistance under the scheme. So far, the state government has dispersed an amount of rupees 4,276 crores to 25,17,000 245 beneficiaries under this scheme. My government is supporting the aspirations of the students who wish to study abroad. Under the Jagananna Videshi Vidya Divena, poor students can now pursue quality overseas education in any of the 21 identified faculties in top 50 educational institutions. I'm, and my government is reimbursing total fees up to 1.25 crores for the purpose. In last 10 months, total financial assistance of 107.08 crores has been provided under the scheme for enhancing the employability skills of the students to make them job ready. Placement linked industry relevant short term skill development course are offered. My government is implementing various skill development activities through the Andhra Pradesh Skill Development Corporation to create a skilled workforce as per the industry requirements. <coughs> Cascading skill ecosystem, an integrated and holistic framework has been created in the state to nurture the talent of Andhra Pradesh youth and fulfill the skills manpower needs of all stakeholders in line with dynamic industrial advancement. We are also taking steps to fill up 3,295 vacant teaching posts in 18 universities. Our, our government has signed a MOU with edX, an internationally renowned online education platform. The understanding is that EDX will provide 2,000 courses in emerging areas and advanced technologies. 12 lakh students of Andhra Pradesh will have access to these courses at no cost. These courses are prepared by the world's best universities such as MIT, Stanford, Oxford, Cambridge, etc. Each of our students will get at least one certification from these world's 
best universities. Due to the sustained efforts put in place by the government, the improvement in the education-related indicators such as enrollments, school dropouts, and out-of-school children has been substantial, leading to improved levels in goal four pertaining to quality education of the sustainable development goals. Now, aspiring health, healthy Andhra Pradesh. The quality of health care system and services in the society that define governance is considered as critical factor for human development index. Healthcare is a very important factor to determine the physical and mental well-being of the people and is recognized as a great contributor to the state's economy. My government has completely revamped the medical infrastructure and medical education in the state. Maternal health care, child health care, and family health care services are ensured through 10,132 Dr. YSR Village Health Clinics, 1,142 Primary Health Centers, 177 Community Health Centers, 53 Area Hospitals, 9 District Hospitals, 3 Speciality Hospitals, and 3 Civil Dispensatories under ABVVP, 11 Teaching Hospitals, and 15 specialty hospitals under medical education. Apart from these, 542 UPHCs are facilitating health access to the urban population of the state. Through the Nadu Nedu program, government is revamping the existing health infrastructure and putting, place, putting in place a robust decentralized public health care infrastructure for strengthening primary secondary and tertiary healthcare infrastructure in the state. Being strengthening, besides strengthening the existing 11 medical colleges in the state, the government has embarked on construction of 17 new medical colleges with nursing colleges, five multi-speciality hospitals in tribal areas. We have recently inaugurated super specialty hospital Cancer Hospital and Institute of Mental Health at Kadapa and Kidney Research Center at Palasa. During the last three years, concerted efforts have been made to increase human resources in medical and health sector by filling up the existing vacancies. <coughs> Sorry. 53,126 medical personnel <coughs> are recruited under this mission. A medical recruitment board has been created <coughs> to fill the vacancies as and when they arise. 